where does love and kindness show up in my life? We live in a world where everything is easily accessible with the click of a button. Thanks to technological innovation and the spoils of modernity, we can get a meal in a minute, travel extensively across the globe, watch 24-7 TV, and connect our iPhones with just about every imaginable aspect of life. Yet our obsession with the internet and vulnerability to distractions has somehow left us more disconnected from one another than ever before. We feel isolated and sad, suffer from life-draining conditions like stress, anxiety and depression. We eat alone, sleep alone and live alone. Our world is the living room and Alexa, our best friend. The human species is biologically wired for social interaction and connection. We naturally gravitate towards people and situations that engender this fundamental human need. And deeply embedded at the core of that humanness is love. Kindness is the highest expression and most defining quality of being human. Have you ever noticed the sheer joy you feel when you're kind to another human being? It seems to touch something deep within you and increases your connection to the person. And what about their reaction? The delight written all over their face, appreciation bursting from the seams, and a winsome smile that could melt a thousand hearts. And when someone is kind to you, it has the same effect, but somewhere inside, Perhaps you're just grateful that someone has acknowledged you, taken a moment to see you, satisfied an unmet need, or unwittingly entwined their humanity with yours. A reassuring touch, a gentle smile or a thoughtful gesture, regardless of how small, can have a powerful impact on someone's day or even in someone's life. Research after research informs us of the human value of kindness. Kindness increases the love hormone oxytocin, increases energy and happiness. It adds to our quality and longevity of life. Acts of kindness light up the giver's pleasure and reward centers of the brain as if they were the recipient of the good deed, a phenomenon called the helper's high. Kindness has been documented to be good for just about every affliction, including anxiety, stress and depression. Blood pressure is lowered as a result of the emotional warmth caused by acts of kindness. It seems the benefits of kindness are entwined in the giving to others as well as what we give to ourselves, all of which positively supports our mental, physical and emotional health and well-being. Love is the primordial and transformative force that advances the human race. It may feel that we live in a divided and hate-filled world, but that's largely because of what we absorb relentlessly from the media. It is love that compels people to go into struggling communities and try to change conditions for others. Love is at the core of die-hard legislators advocating for justice and equality for all segments of our society. The numerous global and environmental challenges we face are met by the unsung hero on a mission of love. People and institutions working systemically behind the scenes, dedicating their lives to the cause of human dignity, each one motivated by love. Science is the driving force behind economic, technological and societal progress, ensuring that on every metric of life, the world is getting better. Surely a labor of love. Love operates in our personal lives as a unifying force that builds bridges and breaks barriers. Love enriches human experience. Love is the abundant supply that never runs dry, as a matter of fact, the more you give, the greater it multiplies. 
Love opens your heart to trust, to trust others and to trust yourself. Love inspires, it heals, forgives. Love brings about the highest good for yourself and others. It connects you with life in a way that makes you feel alive. Love deepens compassion, engenders empathy, and broadens your capacity to see yourself in the struggle, failings, and imperfections of others. Love nurtures and consoles. It's the abiding universal principle that is not divisive, but accepting and inclusive. It imbues each of us with a sense of belonging and a sacred duty to protect and take care of one another and the planet we call home. Without love, humanity could not survive. Recognizing the value of kindness is central to your development and growth. Let's work with these five questions to inspire and experience more love and kindness in the world. Where in my life could I be kinder and make a difference? Where do I need to be kinder to myself first? Where do I put up barriers against giving or receiving love and kindness? What random acts of kindness could I easily do and make a difference in someone's day? Make a list. How could I be a rebel by being kind? Ponder these questions over the week ahead, then choose one action to move forward with. Journaling is a crucial part of your personal growth journey. It's where you get to express the good, the bad, the ugly, and the everything else in between. Writing is like a release valve that reduces the pressure of issues relating to work, relationships, finance, health, and those things that unsettle your mind. Journaling is a personal support system that can help you work through trauma and pain and bring you to a place of healing. Set an intention today to make journaling a priority. Use it to document your achievements and successes. Be consistent and have fun with it.